and welcome back to our Pokemon Adventure Red Chapter playthrough. This is part 25. In the last episode, we had ourselves one incredible battle against the fusion of the three legendary birds, Zap Morkuno. Because of that, I did go ahead and decide to bring everyone on our team up to level 45. I also made some really obvious moveset changes that we should have had a while ago to the team. For example, Aerodactyl now has Flying Stab with Aerial Ace, and I don't know why I didn't do this earlier. It makes complete sense for it to have it, but it now has Aerial Ace. Uh, in terms of the team, I've been complaining about Pikachu a lot. I'm sorry about that. Pikachu is going to stay. Um, I've heard, apparently, Pikachu is going to learn Surf. However, it doesn't learn Surf from HM, and it just tried to learn Thunder at level 45. So, when it gets those moves changes, I have no idea. But we'll keep going with it for the time being. We will. I'll, I'll give it its chance. I'll stop talking about <laughs> boxing the Pikachu. We'll leave the Pikachu. People want it. Fair enough. Um, what we are going to do is we're going to put wild card in front, if I can click the right button, that helps, you know, A and B, very confusing buttons. And last episode, we were told to go to Celadon City. Celadon City, apparently there was a huge explosion, so we are going to head there and see what the explosion at Celadon is all about. We also saw Giovanni on a rooftop, sort of rescuing Sabrina, I suppose. I assume that's something to do with it. I want to go this way, right? It's been a while since I've had to go back to Celadon. I mean, I knew we were going to go back here at some point, I just didn't realize we were going to go back here before I got dived. I fully intended to go back here once I got dived, obviously save that drowning person, because you know, they'll be fine. Alright, they definitely haven't drowned yet, they're fine, they, they have very, very strong lungs. Okay, I have my full trust in that person that went under the water. Um, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> I don't think they're going to be alive, but we'll, we'll see. So Celadon City is right here. Sandstorm? Okay, okay, okay. Psyduck, tell me what's going on, buddy. Psy, ay, ay, ay. Mm, mm, I see, I see. So what you're saying is this was all caused by a Mega Tyranitar with Sandstream. Ah, I see, I see. I'm gonna quickly check this Pokemon. Please have Hyper Potions. Please be like a reset to the town. Please have Hyper Potions. <gasps> oh! I can buy 28 as a max. Uh, I think we'll be fine with 20. I do think we need them though. We uh, we were struggling a little bit without them, honestly. We were struggling just a little bit. So now that we have them, we shouldn't have any issues anymore. I think we'll be good. If I had Hyper Potions with Nine Tails, I think we would have got through Zap Molkuno just fine. Um, is there anything happening at the gym? Because we never went into the gym, I don't think. There. The gym is big. Misty, what's up? Luckily, everyone here is safe. No one died or was injured from the earthquake, but Carl has something is fishy. And since a very powerful Pokemon is responsible for this. Okay, so I don't think this is where I actually had to go. I thought going to Misty would make the most sense. Uh, but I guess we're going to keep looking around and looking for something that would cause an earthquake. I can't think of anything that would cause an earthquake in Celadon City from, like, prior knowledge of Celadon City. There's no sand out on Route 24, so I don't think we need to go that way. Meaning... No event that's gonna happen over here. The slowpoke are blocking off that way. Okay, okay, so I don't think we have to go that way, because then that would be a whole trek round. Where do we need to go? This way? Route 4. This is the exact same route. This is definitely not the way. Okay. Uh, let's, let's, let's take a look around then, I guess. Is anyone gonna give me a pointer in the right direction? You're gonna tell me about types? Okay. Okay. Not, not quite what I'm looking for, to be honest. I'm looking for what's causing an earthquake. I'm very confused at where I'm meant to be going. The bike shop? We don't have a bike anymore. <laughs> I don't think the bike shop is quite going to be responsible for causing an earthquake, but you never know, okay? You never know. Honestly, they might be up to something. Here's a Pidgey after all. Pidgey? Pidgey can cause an earthquake for sure. Uh, let's go this way. Route 9. Again, no... Because the sandstorm stops, I feel like it's not the right way. I think it's just me. We'll cut to when we found it. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. 
heated. Did I just surf around the slowpoke? I think I just surfed around the slowpoke and it worked, so sure. Bill, what are you doing here? See, I'm here to investigate. Investigate Mewtwo? The monster of Cerulean City? Wait, is this actually, like, going back to the thing that brought- Hold on. Yes, I was near the northwest sector of Cerulean City before the explosion happened. I saw a monster drop from the sky and blast everything in its radius when it landed. Now, I'm thinking Armored Mewtwo, but I'm also thinking a Tyranitar, if it landed, it would make a big crater, okay? That would also make a lot of sense. Someone just pushed a big Tyranitar out of a plane. That entire area is all barbecued now. Barbecued? I see. Sounds like a very powerful Pokemon. Carlos, I heard from Daisy you defeated Team Rocket. Just because you scored a win against them doesn't mean you should get yourself in another dangerous situation. Okay. I'm gonna do exactly that, though, okay? I'm gonna completely ignore what you just said. All right, I'm going. Uh, well, I'm I'm going and have I been here? I have not been here. Multiple caves. Um, lots of caves actually. I used to come here often. I don't know how I feel now. This place used to be serene and majestic. Yeah, not quite seeing that. I'll be honest with you. I'm seeing a lot of rocks. Rock tomb is also here. Uh, do we teach that to Aerodactyl? There's a question, actually. We could. We could. We have Ancient Power at the moment. Ancient Power isn't the best, but if we get the boost, it is real good. Okay, there's also a thing there. I'm gonna start by going into the first cave. I feel like we're gonna end up right at the back there at some point, but we'll go into the first cave. This is real, everything is gone. Who could have done this? I'm thinking it was a, a, a good old guy called Mewtwo. Rulian Cave. You're not strong enough yet. Come back when you're stronger. Huh? I, uh... I trained up. <laughs> I feel like maybe I'm strong enough. What about this one? Is this one gonna be like... You're plenty strong enough, my friend. Oh, Squad is here. I do actually have all four of those those Pokemon in my party. If I had, like, the Snorlax in my party as well, would the Snorlax be out? I wish I knew. What's wrong with all of you? Come on, let's go. Chapter 26, The Unknown Dungeon. Are we playing Pokemon Mystery Dungeon? Please, give me a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, like, minigame in this. I would love that, honestly. That would be so stupid, but it would be so fun. i just turn into the Pikachu. Actually, that kind of did happen when we had to disable the Mr. Mime Barrier. Not quite a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, I guess, but we did turn into the Pikachu for a bit. Well, we played as Pikachu. I guess we didn't turn into Pikachu. I guess it was nothing like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon at all. It's just my imagination running wild. Anyway, we find ourselves an Ice Stone. Again, like, the only Pokemon I really am going to use that on is going to be Volpix, and we already have a Fire-type Ninetales. Although I wouldn't be against having two Ninetales. I wouldn't hate that. I'd actually kind of like it. So I would prefer us to have the fairy typing. I mean, there's, there's nothing saying we can't get the fairy typing. I want, I actually kind of want that. Um, we have strength, right? I am convinced we have strength because we used it to get through those boulders that were blocking us from going to Cinnabar Island. Yeah, we definitely have strength, okay. You know, sometimes when you're playing through two games at once, uh, it can get a little bit confusing of what you have and what playthrough and what you have in the other. <laughs> Only on episode 7 of the Pokemon I will play for at the moment, but you know, it's confusing nonetheless. Um, we don't have Rock Smash though. But yeah, it's right here. A Link Stone. Okay, okay. Another Rock Smash boulder that we can't break. Which is a little worrying, because it makes me feel like either we pick it up here and I'm gonna need a Pokemon to learn it, and Rock Smash sucks, so I never want to teach it to any of my Pokemon. Or we were meant to get it somewhere else and I don't have it yet, which would honestly be so much worse. If I had to go and hunt for Rock Smash, I would feel very bad. But we can continue. There's some interesting Pokemon in here, and honestly, a Magneton? Magnezone. I'm gonna catch it, honestly. Um, we can go for a Shadow Claw. I don't think we'll KO a Magneton. I'd be very surprised if it did. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we could... Probably Nightshade, 45 damage. It must have over... Yeah, that should be fine. There's no way this takes that right. Magneton's health isn't super high. I 
I take that back. I take that back. Also, I got a lovely Windows message pop up, but I'm never sure if that's if that's picked up in my audio because I try and focus the audio to the game, but I'm never sure. About a protein. Okay, okay. Uh, not a lot we can really do with a protein. I'm pretty sure all of my Pokemon are maxed on EVs at the moment. Slow, bro. Yeah, not quite what I'm looking for. I do want to use a Starmie, though. I do. I want to use a Starmie. Maybe not in this playthrough, but I want one somewhere. What is this? The full restore. That was surprisingly hidden. I've probably walked past a couple of Pokeballs by now that you guys have seen, and I've just been completely focused on the moment of trying to advance, and I've ran straight past it, and you're just silently there like, didn't see that Pokeball. How did you not see that Pokeball? I know I do it when I'm watching other Poketubers and stuff. I, I see them go past items, and I just... I silently, I seethe, I seethe and go, how dare he walk past that obvious item? Who knows what it could have been? Now I'll never know. Um, but I see a Mewtwo. Uh, honestly, leading with wild card seems like a smart idea, but also leading with Pikachu seems like a smart idea, because Thunder Wave is very, very good, so we'll do that. Can I catch the Mewtwo? It's you. You were the Pokemon from Cinnabar Island. Can I catch the Mewtwo? Level 70. Am I going to lose to the Mewtwo? Oh, no. No, 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 no. I'm very fast. I am a speedy Pikachu. I have lots of speed. We are speed boosting. We are fine. There is no possible way this can not outspeed, right? Oh, wow. Let me get this straight. We can't outspeed the Zap Molkuno, but we outspeed level 70 Mewtwo. And we get the full paralysis. Okay, okay. That's decent. That's genuinely decent. I will happily get a Volt Tackle off. I'm assuming we can't catch it, but I'm gonna get it kinda low and throw a Pokeball anyway. That did no damage. Amnesia. Uh, well I'm going for another Volt Tackle, so that's hitting it on the physical side, so that's fine. However, it does worry me a little bit when I see it setting up, because I'm not sure if it has Recover. If it has Recover, this gets very bad very quick. Reflect? That's still pretty annoying. Um, I'm gonna try throwing the Pokeball now. It might be a complete waste, but we'll we'll give it a go. Ultra Ball. Be expected. Be expected. I wish it would give me a message before I wasted the turn, because it just gave it an extra turn to set up defenses, where it could potentially have something like Recover. Just don't have Recover. If it doesn't have Recover, we're fine. We'll whittle it down a little bit by bit, and we'll be okay. So far we've seen Amnesia, Reflect. Have we seen anything else? I don't think so. Light Screen. Amnesia, Reflect, Light Screen. This is the Pokemon that apparently wiped out the area? With no attacking moves? Interesting. Definitely interesting. Amnesia. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I see you. I see what you're doing, Mewtwo. I, I don't approve of it, though. It's kind of annoying. Now it's max special defense, that's for sure, but it only has a reflect up, so I mean, we'll, we'll slowly whittle it down, I guess. Psychic. Okay, that's not recover. Honestly, sure. Go ahead. Take out the Pikachu. I don't care. As long as it doesn't have recover, I feel confident that we can win. That's absolutely fine. Honestly, we get like a Shadow Claw crit. We're good. That's all it would take. It would just take one Shadow Claw for it. Reflect wears off. This is the perfect time. Boom. Just, 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 just a smidge and more. Wildcard? Just, 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 just a smidge. Just a smidge. Just, I, all I need you to do is just trip it over, okay? When it, like, next stumbles to its feet after being paralyzed, just, just kick it in the shin, okay? And it'll fall over and you'll be fine. That's all it takes. Okay, there we go. We're fine. Uh-oh. Ah! Ooh! Ooh! We- <laughs> I can't wait to get soft locked over here. Ah! Oh, hi Mewtwo! Oh, we just- we're just leaping, huh? Mewtwo, please, come on, listen. I know you have high defense, but I won the fight, fair and square. Oh, we're zooming. Hi, Blaine. Thanks for the- for the catch. Well, well, well. Looks like this time, it was my turn to save you. Blaine, we have to get out of here. You should leave. I have business with the beast inside that cave. Business with the beast. Mewtwo. I love the fact that it's just an old dude in the corner that's <laughs> just walking around like, what? What are, what are those kids doing nowadays? What's that, 
What was that Pokemon? I haven't seen that one before. These kids with their new technology and their new Pokemon. Oh, back in my day, there was only 151. <laughs> they teleported. No, it's still here. Mewtwo must be beaten now. Wait, Blaine. Blaine, I already won. Blaine. Blaine, I already- I won the fight. I mean, I got given a max revive. Let's just use it, I guess. Oh, well, I mean, I guess we'll use a revive rather than wasting the max revive, because that can actually be useful at, like, Elite Four stages and stuff. But we'll just, uh, boost the Pikachu. I don't even really need to heal it, to be honest. I just want it more so for the Thunder Wave. The Thunder Wave felt very crucial. Although, if it's only boosting defenses, do I even- Ah, we're fine. You know, we'll stick with it. We'll stick with it. Um, I don't think we want to go back in that cave. Like the buzz? Buzz buzz? Why is it so mad? Does it think I was the one responsible for this mess? Electabuzz? You good? You good, buddy? Can I catch you? Can I catch the Electabuzz? Can I have an Electivire? Wait. 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 Can I catch it? Can I Thunder Wave it? Have we tried to Thunder Wave an Electric type yet? Maybe we have and I've forgotten. I'm gonna try it anyway. We can Thunder Wave Electric types. That's nice. I don't like that mechanic. I definitely prefer it like Gen 6 and onwards when you can't paralyze electric types and stuff like that. But also, it's very nice right at this moment, so I'm not going to complain. Uh, that also means it doesn't have Lightning Rod or anything like that, or Motor Drive or anything like that. So I guess we're just going for Thunderbolt. Pikachu, go. Bring victory. Half health, paralyzed. We're going to try and catch it. Partially just because I have a Link Stone and I want to use it. Um... Partially because having electric types is not necessarily a bad thing. Only one weakness being ground. I can't catch you. Okay, alright. I, I see. I see. Okay. Okay. Alright. Fine. You know what happens to people that don't get caught in the Pokeball? That's right. You know what button I'm clicking. It's not bag. That's not the button. Hold on. Wait. Wait. Hold on. Vault tackle. That button. That's the button I'm clicking. Much more menacing than bag. Okay. Although I will admit, I do like the image of... Like a trainer just threatening this Pokemon. <laughs> it's the last result. They just take the bag and just suck it up the head. <laughs> Ugh, what a tactic, honestly. Top battling technique. Slowpoke. Slowpoke, don't headbutt me. It poked me. The sheer level of aggression. I can't take this. That's too far. Okay, this Slowpoke needs to be taught a lesson. Look at it with smug little smug little face. How dare you, Slowpoke. I'm gonna run circles around you, buddy. We are zooming, okay? I don't need your smug little face anywhere near me. We're gonna zap you into oblivion. How dare you poke us. Too far. Too far. It hurts my feelings. You get the crit. <laughs> the crit was so overkill, but sure. Sure. Rodent Games XP. Such a good name. Uh, do I want to go into this cave, or do I want to go up onto this ledge? I guess we go into this cave and then onto the ledge, but I mean, we'll check around just in case. Oh, never mind. Nido Queen. It's not my fault, I swear. Nido Queen, come buddy, buddy. I don't want to fake out the Nido Queen, because I don't want to be afflicted with Poison Point, so we are swapping out and going into... Uh, Pork would be the best, but also we have Earthquake on Venusaur. I'm gonna go for Earthquake on Venusaur, because Venusaur can't be poisoned, and I'm just worried about, like, something stupid. Blatter. Is it now stronger to go for Petal Storm? Rather than Earthquake? Earthquake super effective goes to 200. If we land, like... If we land three Petal Storms, it's stronger to go for Petal Storm. We have high special attack spell. It's probably stronger to go for Petal Storm, actually. We just need to leave, like, land, like, three? If we land three hits, I think it's stronger. Oh, come on. Just give me the give me the third hit. Give me the third hit. Give me the third hit. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. Absolutely outplayed. Thank you for the flatter. It's appreciated. You know? I'm, wow. It's flattering, honestly. And that lets Venusaur get some delicious XP. Uh, I'm gonna leave Blaine there for just a second, just because I want to see what's in this cave. Bye for Pels. Is this a maze? I know I got Hyper Potions. Also, can I use this protein on, like, you? 
I can. Polygraph, what? We, have you still not learned? Never gonna learn, is it? It's never gonna learn. It just likes being up there, I guess. I guess I can't complain. You know, it's a habit now. It's formed its habit. I can't stop it anymore. Um, I don't have repels. Honestly, whatever's in there is in there. It's fine. And we grabbed the TM that was over there. So, Blaine, what's happening over here, buddy? Ugh. Blaine, your arm. This is why I must defeat Mewtwo. Mewtwo is a genetic Pokemon made from the cell of a Mew. However, it's not possible to create an entire clone, an entire clone body from the small amount of Mew cells we got. So, I added some human cells into the mix. Oh no, not humans. Oh, horrible creatures. Human cells from who? From who? Cells from my own arm. The backwash containing the renegade Mewtwo's cells found its way into my arm. Soon, this arm will become useless, and eventually, the Mewtwo's cells will take full control of my body and life. Oh. That can't be. <laughs> I wish. But these shared cells at least enabled both Mewtwo and I to know when the other is close by. Call a resonance effect. So, let Team Rocket call me a traitor. Let them hunt me to the ends of the earth. What can frighten me now? Carlos, I can't let you get involved in this mess that I've created. Knowing you, you won't back down. So I'm sorry that it comes to this. No, why? I did ask to battle Blade at some point though, didn't I? I did ask for this in a way. Leader Blaine sends out Growl- Blaine? Blaine, what is that? Blaine? Buddy? Uh, sorry, I think my eyes are just, you know, they're having a little bit of a, a, a glitch and interference, if you will. They're, there's no way that's a level 27 Growlithe from Leader Blaine, right? That would be a little bit low. That seems a little bit low. But okay. Okay. Um, making me feel like I didn't really need to train up to level 45 right now, although I can be for level 70 Mewtwo, actually. It was probably warranted. <laughs> oh, there's the power. Okay, the Rapidash is all the power. Sure. Takedown. Not too scary. Not too scary at all. Skull Dark Project will definitely be enough. Maybe Skull alone. Rapidash is pretty frail. Not quite frail enough, but frail enough for an Dark Project to finish, that's for sure. Oh, okay. So we've gone from level 27 to level 43. If the next one's level 59, I'm afraid. <laughs> Magma, don't, don't be level 59. Don't do it. 43. Okay, see, that's fine. That's fine, honestly. Skull should do over half, so that's good too. Just over half. Okay, that's fine. Confuse rate. That's annoying. So much Tita Dance, Confuse Ray, and Flat, uh huh? There's been a lot of those moves. What are you what what are you doing? Leftovers! Okay, a Skull still KOs. I just need you to not get hit by confusion. That makes sense, okay? We didn't get hit ourselves when the flat happened. This time we hit ourselves. I, I, okay, okay. Uh, if I can get the drain punch off though, rather than the scald. Do I want to go for drain punch over scald? Kinda. It's still stab. It's not halved in damage because of the sun. We get health back. It's a really good move. Okay, okay, it can just I should have just went for Drain Punch in the beginning, I guess. Sure, sure, although Flame Body. And Arcanine. Uh, sure, we're staying in, honestly. I know the sun's up, but I think we just punch it. Level 45! On par. Um, do we want to go for a Scald in the sun, or a Drain Punch with an Intimidate? Not two fantastic options, I'll be honest, but I'll, I guess we'll go for Scald, sure. Outrage... Tickles a little bit. It tickles a little bit. We do have the Aqua Jet, remember. That's not quite as much damage as I was expecting. Thought it was going to do a little bit more than that. Just just a little bit. Thought it was going to do, like, closer to half. Yeah, I don't think the Strain Punch is going to put me into a range where we can win. Definitely not. Can the sun go away? No. That's a shame. That is a shame. Um, guess what Aqua Jet for damage? I suppose, as it did get the free turns of Outrage. Yeah, that's that's not, not... Even if the sun wasn't up, that wouldn't have been enough. And Outrage is going to take us out. With a crit, just to be sure. 
just to be sure the pork goes down. Rude. Um, but we can Ancient Power and finish. Ancient Power, while it's a special attack from an Aerodactyl, it should be enough. And it's confused, it doesn't know what's going around, it's seeing ducks spinning in the sky. Honestly, that happens to the best of us, let's be honest. Inch power is enough, and we have defeated Blaine properly this time. And of course I get the boost when I don't need it. Of course, did you? Thanks game, it's appreciated. Thank you game. I can't get the boost at other amazing times, when it's like at the start of the fight, admittedly I didn't use it at the start of the fight, but maybe I could have, but... That's a shame. It's a shame that we can't use it. You're being stupid, Blaine. Who's being stupid? Listen, Carlos, this isn't another one of your fun adventures. I don't think many of my adventures have been that fun, I'll be perfectly honest. If I don't defeat Mewtwo today, city after city will be destroyed. And that's not like they haven't been fun to play, it's just, I, from Red's perspective, they've been pretty traumatizing. <laughs> just like this one. It'll be a great Pokemon trainer, Carlos. Goodbye. Are you really going to go fight Mewtwo with your team defeated? That's an awful idea. Blaine, no. Wait. Don't do that. That's a really dumb idea. Um, I know Pork's fainted, but honestly, do we need Pork? Let's, let's just, let's just get Pork. You know, I... We might not need to revive Pork, but what's the harm in reviving Pork? You know, worst comes to worst, we have another meat shield, okay? That's, that's, that's definitely the worst case scenario, but I mean, eh, if it's needed, it's needed. So we'll, we'll heal it up. Plus Ice Punch Freezes. Although I'm probably gonna try and paralyze it, so I guess we won't be freezing it anyway. Aqua Jet Damage, if worst comes to worst and I don't get it paralyzed. Sure, sure. We'll go with that as the plan, but for now, Pikachu go. Wait. Round two with Mewtwo, I guess. Okay, level 70 Mewtwo. Well, we won the first time. It was a little bit of a stall fest, sure, but there's nothing saying we can't do it again. There's a crit fake out, obviously the highest damaging move of all time. Very important to crit that. Um, Thunder Wave. We outspeed. Nothing different. It's not like the last one was Brave Nature, this one's Timid or anything crazy like that to give it a speed boost. Reflect goes up. I think we're just doing the same thing we did last time, but I mean, we're Thunderbolting a little bit more while it has the Reflect up, I guess. I don't really see anything different that's gonna happen. Amnesia. I feel like we could probably speed this up. I just wanna check that it doesn't have anything crazy. Just making sure of its moveset. Um, we'll go for another Thunderbolt while its special defense isn't too high, I guess, because we only have four Bolt Tackles anyway. Yep, that tickles. Light screen is up. We've seen Reflect, Amnesia, Light Screen, and the last move is going to be Psychic. So yeah, let's just speed this up a little bit. Got paralyzed. Got paralyzed. Oh, right, Pressure. That would do it. That would do it. Pressure would make my PP lower. <laughs> PP. Um, <laughs> uh, Shadow Claw. And I mean, we do have Nightshade for just constant damage, but I thought maybe a Shadow Claw crit would be enough. And it gets fully paralyzed and the light screen wears off. I'm finishing you with Nightshade just for style points. Boom, big wild card, big and scary. Be frightened, Mewtwo. Okay, and wild card once again defeats a Mewtwo. Sure. Wait. Yeah. Don't you know you could have gotten yourself killed? Heh, <laughs> yeah, I know. I went to fight a Mewtwo with Psychic, with no Pokemon, yeah. Real intelligent, Blaine. Carlos, take this Master Ball. Oh! Oh, okay. I like where this is going. Yeah? If you had this, then why didn't you? That's what I thought too. But Mewtwo's power has grown so much that it's impossible to get even nearer. Carlos, you haven't changed one bit. This is different music. Your eyes still have the same compassion in them from when I first saw you in Team Rocket's HQ in Celadon City. You knew it was me? I could tell from your disguise. At that point, I had already thrown away my position as gym leader and joined Team Rocket. Having fallen prey to my scientific curiosity, I had no qualms about using lab Pokemon lab subjects, but you were different. You protected me from Team Rocket. You made an ally out of Pokemon who'd learnt to distrust humans. You made me feel regret and ashamed of what I had become. 
I was employed by Team Rocket to create a monster, and I did. That monster was me. I mean, if you have like a Mewtwo arm, you could technically become like some kind of crazy hybrid monster. Yeah, I can see that. Carlos, you're the reason why I turned against Team Rocket. You're the source of my strength and courage. Uh, is he gonna confess to me or what? Um, you're the reason the world is safe from Team Rocket. It's all up to you now. Mewtwo is still out there. Probably in one of these caves. Mmm. Bet it's this one. I bet it- wait. Actually, might be the first one. That wasn't strong enough before, right? Do I really want to get into this right now? If you're not strong enough, come back when you're stronger. No, I was I was gonna I was gonna leave. I guess it's just that one spot. It's not this cave, so it's the other cave. Um oh wait, what can we encounter here? Gross. Gross. No. No, we don't, we don't talk about that Pokemon. Okay, we don't talk about it. Um, so I am going to assume, considering we met the Mewtwo in this cave on the right, that they're talking about this cave on the left. So we will start checking out this cave and heading towards Mewtwo with our new Master Ball in the next episode. So if you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and without further ado, bye.